At this point, nearly everyone knows that speedrunners are going to absolutely pick apart new games on release. And with Resident Evil's popularity and its propensity to attract speedrunners, it was only a matter of days before the game was broken. But games like this only get so optimized so fast, at least without a bit of financial compensation. So I sought to expedite this process by organizing an open speedrunning tournament with a prize pool that garnered $16,000. And in only the first two months of the game being out, that incentive drove some speedrunners to achieve some amazing times and discover some fascinating techniques. This video seeks to recap both the open qualifier for my speedrunning tournament and the live event itself, the trials and tribulations of the runners involved, and tell a tale of the amazing runners who won their share of the $16,000 prize pool. This video is a sort of supercut from my previous video covering the open qualifier as well as the actual live event itself. If you have seen the original video, this one still has some pertinent information, but the purely new content starts at this timestamp. If you haven't seen the video, this will be a perfect way to take in the full narrative of the event in one video. So sit back and enjoy the amazing feats that speedrunners have achieved in the amazing game Resident Evil 4 Remake. The tournament format was quite simple. The top 8 times verified on the run.gg by the deadline would be invited to compete in a live event where runners would run head to head, the first 4 to complete their runs moving on to round 2, where they compete once again for the top 4 rankings. For the most basic breakdown, Resident Evil 4 Remake has 16 chapters and is roughly about 16 hours long casually. That's an average of an hour per chapter. The category in play here is New Game Professional Any% percent. that means runners are not allowed to use anything that gives them additional advantages that you wouldn't have on a first playthrough normally. That means no Armor Ashley, no DLC weapons, or DLC treasure map. No bonus weapons and no charms. Any% percent means any percentage of the game needs to be completed. So any strategies are allowed, including glitches. The professional difficulty is the hardest difficulty in the game, increasing enemy health and poise, giving them more aggressive enemy AI and increasing the scarcity of resources. Not to mention making some items in the merchant shop much more expensive. To top it off, there are no auto saves and you can only perform perfectly timed parries. The earliest pioneers would be two usual suspects, Distortion 2 and Spicy TV. Dist is a full-time streamer and god gamer. His reputation precedes him. But if somehow you don't know of his escapades, let me give you a brief crash course. A Dark Souls speedrunning veteran turned full-time variety speedrunner. Distortion 2 is known for jumping from game to game quickly, especially on brand new releases. Speedrunning them into the ground, dominating the hardest difficulty categories, and then moving on. He has had world records in Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Village, Dark Souls Remastered, Elden Ring, and many more. He also was the undisputed winner of the Resident Evil Village speedrunning tournament I hosted back in 2021, achieving a new world record in the first round, then missing that new world record by only 10 seconds in round 2. It's no surprise he would be one of the frontrunners in an event like this. His ability to break down a new game and create routes that will stand the test of time in a very short time frame, then grinding it down to perfection is nearly unrivaled. I say nearly unrivaled because there is one person who can rival him in such endeavors, and that's his friend and fellow god gamer, Spicy TV. Spicy is no stranger to running new games on high pressure competition, achieving fourth place in the Moist Critical Amok Runner speedrunning competition, having world record in many Resident Evil Village categories, placing sixth in Moist Critical's second speedrunning tournament with Exodus of the Earth, getting third place in Dead Space Remake, second place in Dead Space 2, and many more. These two are people that I would be shocked to not see in the finals. It's probably no surprise either that they were the first two doing runs and riding the professional difficulty. By the time the event had been announced, Distortion 2 had already started routing and finished his first practice run. A 4 hour and 15 minute time with a ton of time spent labbing and trying new strategies and making saves. For the time being, until the announcement of the tournament proper, not many people had approached the pro category. But Dist was on a mission. Spicy shortly after would join the fun. Approximately 12 hours before the tournament's announcement, he would get a 258 segmented. At this time, the event would get officially announced and a ton of new players would come into the category. Namely Trey D, local Resident Evil speedrunning legend, multi-time world record holder for Village 2 make and 3 make, Bakma Soup, super streamer and veteran speedrunner of many Resident Evil games, Orshalon, the machine, including his long-lasting rivalry with Trey in RE2 and 3 remakes, as well as many world records in a variety of Resident Evil speedruns, including OG RE3. 
Trance would also join in on the fun, an avid variety speedrunner who is most known for his YouTube content and tying Orchelon in RE2 Remake Switch rival speedrunning tournament, of which Ray also got fourth. There were also others who weren't so in the limelight at the start who would emerge when the tournament qualifier went live, like Resident Evil 7 every category world record holder Captain Ezekiel. Many runners from all over the speedrunning sphere would come into play, like QTT, a Taiwanese runner, friends with distortion, known for jumping in on events like this, as well as Matt Gale, who ran in the most recent critical tournaments with Spicy, and even Holly, a prominent German streamer who has done some Resident Evil before, but not what most would consider true speedruns. Certainly no prior tournament experience. With the tournament in full swing and only eight times qualifying for the main event, the race was on. The smartest of the runners would spend most of their time theorycrafting and doing segmented practice runs, as there was no real incentive to have a legitimate run at this point, but two weeks until the deadline. The most important factor was getting as much game experience as possible. No resets and practice sessions while trying to push and develop the meta would be the best move. Those who got too focused on achieving a good time early would waste away their precious time by resetting on rooms and strategies that didn't have enough practice to reasonably be done in a full game run. Spicy, Captain Ezekiel, and Distortion were the kings of this. They found the most of the strategies in this game, and even managed to turn a lot of those previous run killers into somewhat consistent rooms. Spicy would spend the entire first week of the game being out, even before the tournament, practicing and doing segmented runs, and by the 31st, the second day of the tournament, he had already transitioned to doing single segment full game runs, and achieved a 220. Between the strategies that the group had made and all of the practice Spicy had put in, he was far and away the best runner in the game. While most people were putting up three and a half hour times, Spicy was already closing in on that sub two hour mark. This was possible thanks to a few key findings that would make the run a lot simpler and much more consistent. With this 220, Spicy solidified himself as a legend in this game and a definite favorite to qualify first. But that's not to say that others wouldn't follow suit soon. After all, there were still two weeks left in the qualifier and anyone in the top eight could go to the live event. Captain Ezekiel would get a 232 on April 1st. Distortion would get a 226.38 the same day, and then a 222 the next day. Spicy would then improve the record again, getting a 213 on the 3rd of April. Then on the 4th, Dis would take the world record with a 208.58 for a total of 4 hours. That's when Spicy would clap back with a 204.18. It seemed no matter what people did, they could just not catch up to Spicy. Some were close, Dis being the obvious closest, Captain Ezekiel and Ray catching up with a 219.15 and a 219.10 respectively, and Bach bringing up the rear with a 224. Further out from this, a huge gap would start to form. Spicy, Dis, Ray, and Ezekiel solidifying themselves in the top four. There would be a sizable gap between them and the other competitors for the rest of the qualifier though. This would signify a race for the bottom four of the qualifier. There were lots of people who were amazing runners who got late starts and were playing catch up. Orchelon and the Nevs, for example, started running standard until the day of the tournament. Nevs even started a few days later. By the ninth, with only three days left in the qualifier, they were fighting for the bottom nine. Orchelon, QTT, the Nevs, and Bach Basup would all have really close times to each other. Nevs and Bach would tie exactly to the second at sixth place with a 2-12-48 for a whole two and a half days until Bach broke the tie with a 2.10.47. The Nevs would then clap back with a 2.07.50 a few hours later. Orchlon would stay solidly at 8th place for about a whole three days with his 2.12.54. Then he would drop down to 9th, where he would then PB again, not moving up in the ranks, with his 2.12.20. This would trigger the entry of a few new faces. S. Billy, who had the world record for the demo speedrun, would join the fight very late, but quickly climbed the ranks to get a 2.13 flat, only 16 seconds behind Orchelon's 8th place time. Then, Zarian, another variety speedrun veteran, who was placed very highly in RE2 Remix Switch Rivals and held Resident Evil 7 world record previously, joined with a 2.11.57 on his very first finished run. An insanely strong showing solidifying himself at 5th place on the 10th of April. By the 11th of April though, he had already dropped down to 8th place. At one point, 5th through 9th place was exactly one minute apart from each other. It's really going to be anyone's game in these last two days. Spicy, Dist, Ray, and Zeke would continue to optimize the game during this time. 
This would solidify their gap between the bottom five. Dist only beat Spicy's run that one time for four hours. After that, Spicy would hold a record, constantly improving it until he reached the precipice of beating the game in under two hours. He achieved a two hour and 28 second time that would stand for a whole three days, almost exactly. In this time, Dis brought his time down to a 2.02.51. Trey would bring his time down to a 2.07.39, and Ezekiel would bring his time down to a 2.09.34. At this point, sub two was an inevitability, but who would be the first to get it? With how big PBs are in this game, it was certainly possible for anyone in the top four to be the first, especially with Spicy being hard stuck 30 seconds away for a whole three days. It was especially important as Spicy's 2028 wasn't technically valid for the tournament because he was switching frame rates to squeeze past enemies in areas not designated that you're allowed to do so in the rules. But eventually, his hard work would pay off. And on April 9th of 2023, Spicy would make history, becoming the first person to beat Resident Evil 4 Remake in under two hours on the professional difficulty. I ain't never seen a fucking 59 and I never fucking will, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh cool. I can't even, I can't, I can't speak, dude. I can't, I can't, man. Thank you for saving me. We fucking did it, boys. We fucking did it. In that very same run, he would also receive the news that he has gotten Twitch partner, making the run a trifecta, solidifying his placement in the qualifier. Captain Ezekiel would get a 205.30 on April 11th as well. The Nevs would then get a 208.13 and then later that day a 206.21. The next morning, 7 Ray D would get a 204.33 and Trance would get a 211. With only two days left in the qualifier, people were getting tired. No one knew what kind of time you would need to keep you safe. At any moment, multiple people could get a new personal best and then you could get knocked down a few slots. With only the top 8 qualifying, no one besides Spicy and Dis were safe. On the 12th, Nevs would solidify himself as a top 5 runner with a 205.04, and Orchelon would get a huge PB following suit with a 207.48, even losing 4 minutes to a death in this run. S. Billy would come in to play now too with a 211.13. Billy is a relatively new face, but he actually had the world record in the demo speedrun for RE4 Remake, so he was definitely a serious contender not to be ignored. With that being said, it is now the last day of the event. 24 hours left. But as long as there's still at least one minute on the clock, any run started can be finished and be valid for qualification. So even if you literally last minute start a run, you can finish that run and you're good to go. Ray would be the first to tap out after his 20317, giving him a solid third place and almost certain immunity. Orchlon would then clutch up and get a 20301, calling it quits, claiming that he wouldn't get bopped out of top eight with that time. Zeke would get one last run in before qualifiers ended, beating Nevs by one second. Bach would the day prior get a 2.05.49, a time that seemed super safe at the time as it was fifth place, but by the time the last day came around, Bach had been pushed all the way down to seventh place, with Billy trailing four minutes behind with a 2.09. It seemed like it was unlikely that anyone would PB enough to close that gap. It was a race for eighth place at this point. There would be a lot of runners going for that 8th place spot though. Trance would get a 2-10-10, but after so many resets, the pressure got to him and he called it quits. Fregohausen, Missing No RE4, and Billy were all in a race to close the gap with Bach in these final hours, trying to guarantee that 8th place spot. But that's when a familiar face would make his grand entrance. QTT, whom I mentioned earlier, had been practicing a lot but not doing many runs, and with the deadline nearing, he decided it was time to finally show up. He gets a 20817, but during this run, I noticed something and had to make him aware of it. The hell? I can't be changing FPS like that. Oh wait, really? 
It's a new glitch, though. Oh shit! He has switched frame rates in areas not designated to do so by the rules, invalidating his run, the run that had just gotten him his golden ticket into the top eight and the live event. But it wasn't a valid run, and it could not be counted. This was tragic. I felt terrible, but the rules are the rules, and he had to follow them to be in the event. And even he agreed. But he wouldn't just give up. He then immediately started another run, and it was a nail biter the entire time. With only five hours left, he completely blasted through the game, flying at insane pace. His PB just before the invalid run was a 21036, and at the end of this next one, he would have a 20317, exactly tying 7 Ray D. His run was insane. He got crazy lucky heavy grenade drops and magnum ammo drops. On top of that, his execution was near flawless, and he didn't invalidate his run this time. This just shows the true power of never giving up and always trying till the very last moment. Not only did this guarantee his placement in the tourney, it shifted nearly everyone down a slot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I'm not sure that was insane. Oh. I, I'm not aiming to like be a water record or, or not though, like. Or, or something. I just want to be. I just have some like kind of good run, not like lose the other people. Like what I I already I already met them for like many years. This game actually like punish me. I mean not punish me. I mean stuck me for like ah, so much. You know. <laughs> but I you know you know like. Before, be, I mean, after you said I my 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 wrong my my last round is not like a, allowed. I or, or I almost give up, you know, because I just can I, I just couldn't believe. I mean, I I just don't believe. I just didn't believe I I can make this though because I just feel like I'm not good at this game. But I somehow like the the RNG says that I pray me so so hard. You know? <laughs> I I can feel it like. Look like the like the drop rate of the the the, the magna ammo and the, the heavy heavy grenade. Oh, I <laughs> that was insane, you know. Bach was now in eighth place, and eighth place went up almost four minutes. Now the race was really on. Would anyone be able to beat Bach in these last few hours? There were a few valiant efforts. Billy's two oh nine had two deaths on chapter fifteen turret skip, losing him immense time but he can never get back to the island. He quits with only a few hours left. Casal, who had the previous number eight time before Billy, fought very hard to regain his spot, but after a few hours and a 2.10.29, he gave up. Missing No would get another PB, putting him one second behind Billy in 10th place, but the gap between Bach and Billy was too great. On the very last run after the qualifier had totally closed, Missing No was two and a half minutes ahead. He started this run before the qualifiers closed, so it was still valid, and he was potentially on pace for a sick run if Island just went well. But unfortunately, he ended up dying to the Chainsaw Sister in the Dynamite section, ending the last valid run of the qualifier. By the end, here were the standings. The entire top 8 are all 205 or under. Spicy maintained his throne the entire time, only dropping it once to Distortion 2 for 4 hours. Dist solidly stayed at second place the entire time. Orchelon on the final day made a mad dash for third. Ray had his third place swept from him, but managed to maintain fourth. QTT exactly tied Ray with his feats of greatness in the final hours. Zeke edged out sixth from Nevs, who maintained seventh place just barely to box 205.49. Bach somehow survived the insanity that was the last 24 hours of the event, and that just leaves the finals. The format is simple. All eight runners will run at once, and the first four to complete the game with the fastest times will move on to the second round while they're race once again. These are no reset runs. You get one chance. The top times will receive higher cuts of the prize pool, but everyone participating will get paid. With that being said, we jump in two days later to the live event and everyone is ready. In the meantime, Distortion 2 took the world record from Spicy, we beat Spicy. <laughs> being the second person to ever get a sub two hour run. All right, here we go. Chapter one. 
There's going to be a, a lot of those, especially since there's only one oh, chance yeah, to make this run work. We're going to be seeing a lot of saves. Yeah, so professional difficulty has no checkpoints, uh, which makes the run very challenging, so uh, which is why they have to make these uh, backup saves. Distortion right now is going to show us off what the routing is like. First of all, he's taking out the first zombie that does a couple things. One of them is luring all the soldiers into the house that he's going in. He picks up a frag grenade and he's going to throw it. Bam. Pause buffer a little bit. Turn down the FPS. And that is the first section of the village done. You're trying to get 16 kills here to end the village section. Yeah, the reason why they lower the FPS and pause buffer is to My increase the day. blast radius of the grenade. And now we're seeing runners... Anybody? doing all sorts of I'm just gonna uh, things to try to compensate for here. what they're given. Sometimes you'll have bad RNG and then they won't do as much damage or it won't kill as many zombies and mm. they really have to improv from okay. time to time. I'm gonna jump down now. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the perfect route is basically a grenade, a few shots, a grenade, and like that's about it. Like, the village section is timed, but Dude. it's also kill count based. So, how many do they have to kill? Uh, 16. Yeah, so 16 and then, uh, like, the section ends. In the first round, all eight runners make it through the first village without dying. Spicy, Distortion 2, and Orchelon all have pretty clean fights, but some others are not so lucky. QTT notably almost dies and has to use a heal that he would normally want to sell. Chainsaw guy there. Yeah, the chainsaw man. Very scary. Mm -hmm. Oh no, QTT getting grabbed. And using the instant health. Those things sell for 5k. Money management is also important this, in this run. Fun. Yeah, we call it the businessman run. <laughs> A lot of business going down. Everyone lived through a village. Thankfully. It's a miracle. Yeah, it, it honestly is. Like, village can go wrong so fast. Dynamite Village, there's going to be a lot of angry villagers that want to blow you up and turn you into red mist. And your goal is to not let that happen. The goal of Dynamite Village is to move on top of the village where there is a, uh, a knob that you can turn to open a gate in which you will, uh, in which you can leave through. After getting the emblem, you can use it to open another gate. That's what the runners are trying to get. The second chapter's Dynamite Village is a nasty part of the game. Tons of villagers will toss dynamite that even at full health can instantly kill the player if they're unlucky. It seems like that at first, every runner will make it through this gauntlet, until tragically, Seven Ray D dies at the very end of the room, making him reload a save and do it again. On his second attempt, he gets hit down to low health again, has to burn his heal as well. And ammo managing is really important this, in this run. Because this is a survival horror game, ammo is scarce, especially on the professional difficulty. Enemies sometimes are, are tankier, harder to hit. And being able to manage your ammo correctly is very, very important. What enemies do you shoot? What enemies do you stab? Do you stealth kill? A lot of these choices come down to personal preference, but also what is going to happen. And, and knowing how you're going to deal with arena after arena, it is just so unbelievably important to have to keep track of all these different moving components at the same time. Seems that Trey's having to adapt his treasure writing slightly uh, because of some of the RNG that happens during his run. So he, he needs, needs extra to money. a lot for the lack of cash at the moment. Spicy pulls ahead with an early lead, being the first to make it to Del Lago. Unlike the original game, Del Lago in the remake actually has no random elements and is completely consistent. By just hitting enough harpoons, you can kill him in one cycle before he ever gets the chance to run away. If somehow a runner managed to miss a one cycle, then Delago will recover about 60% of his total health and become much harder to kill in the second phase. This is a huge time loss. Basically anyone missing the one cycle would be immediately out of top four. Are allowed to swap FPS for Delago? Ooh, okay, so it's oh. got the one cycle? The one cycle. Yeah. Absolutely. A beautiful one cycle, perfectly demonstrated by Spicy himself. 
it seems that this is having a bit of issues leaving the <laughs> leaving the fish farm here, but I think he, he made it out alive now. Oh, Ezekiel also got past the lago you know? at I'm 19 eight. minutes and 17 seconds. You better watch Pretty your tone when you're talking to someone like me. Nice. I'm an eighth motherfucking place. People are here. slowly. Eighth. In the world. And surely getting through uh, the lago. This money. One of the hardest, I need hardest the one cycles to hit. All right, this also got the one cycle. It seems that everyone is getting the one cycle, so that's nice. Great. Arriving at the first real boss fight, El Gigante, Captain Ezekiel has a small lead in real time and is the first into the fight. But Spicy has paused his game for about a minute to go wash his hands. I guess he was feeling a bit sweaty. And they're gonna try. To, they're going to be buying an elegant mask and filling up with all blue gemstones to sell this for a lot of money in order to be able to afford a rifle. If you do save the dog. The Gigante will have more HP. And the fight will take longer. But here without the dog, what you do is you basically try to bring out the Plaga as fast as possible. And then shoot the Plaga as much as possible. That three times damage on the scope really, really comes to use here. Shooting the Plaga as much as possible. Making sure that the Gigante goes down very, very quickly and does not have time to retaliate. You'll see that Plaga pop. And you'll see runners shoot it as much as they possibly can and that's it that's the fight that's all of it beautiful yeah, there you go that was a very stunning good fight from captain ezekiel yeah it seems that like Ooh. captain ezekiel is ahead of the game now zeke doing a great job at maintaining his lead mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Spicy went to wash his hands, uh, but he's actually still ahead time-wise, I think. Maybe. Sub-26 Gigante finished from Spicy. That is I had like really, really impressive. Mock now, heading up God against damn, Gigante. Yeah, he's also uh, doing really good on the money part. He had seven Velvet Blues. What? Insane. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> These drops are amazing. Yeah, he's the true businessman in this run. <laughs> he's the only one deserving of the suitcase that he's given. <laughs> yeah. You got worms too? Yeah. Come on. Oh, 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 more oh, pistol oh, ammo oh, drops? Wanna, For him, wanna, it's more velvet blues. Signs up. <sighs> oh. QTT though, having a little bit of issues with the Gigante fight. Things Ooh. have gone away, the one cycle didn't work out. He's doing it impromptu. Taking him down into Falther's state. Oh, but things uh, have gone awry, but he's done it anyways. There you go. Nice. There it is. Trying to do the ladder skip here, which is basically, there it is, which is basically after you rescue Ashley. Yeah, so the way the skip works is um, if you aim down sight, uh, for some reason your character will start clipping into whatever is behind them. We will see more of these, uh, these skips, basically. So yeah, they aim down sights and they clip through like the little ledge and then they drop down and they can run ahead without Ashley. Uh, yeah, Ashley's just safe, uh, chilling, waiting for us to get to the next part. Going into cabin, this is the most likely place in village to see a change of the guard for the runners. Cabin is an extremely volatile part of the run. The runners are going to do everything in their power to keep things under control. Essentially, they need to board up all three windows downstairs to end the first phase. But in order to do so, they're going to need to get board drops from enemies. This is scripted and can be done the same way most times, but things can spiral out of control really, really quickly. Then, after the next phase starts, they kill five enemies to get the bullhead to spawn. Killing him ends the cabin. There are many, many close calls in this section. Bad RNG. Th that is just bad RNG. Yeah. If that's the case. So it seems that Arch got the got the cow guy, and there he is. He finished cabin perfectly. Nice. Spicy also finished cabin. Now it's gonna... Immediately following is another super scary part of the run, the Bella Sisters. It's random when the Bella Sisters stun, and if she stuns on the second shot, she can be assassinated easily. But if she stuns on the first, then you have to finish her off with sniper shots. Narrowly avoids the chainsaw. Oh, he's getting Fires a shot into the chainsaw, chainsaw too. Oh, oh no. no! I am stressed. 
Ooh, things are not going too well. He's got to he's got to fire six shots into the chainsaw sister's head. To take her down and get the the tool that he needs. So yeah, the and next this one section is still, is... it'll just like flash, <laughs> use a flash grenade and yeah, get out of there. Oh, so chaotic. So chaotic. This is extremely scary and even then it's not a free getaway. You have to use flash grenades to aid your escape, and it's not that simple. Spicy gets there first, despite his hand-washing time loss. Everyone gets out of Cabin and Bell Sisters cleanly, though. Except for Nevs, who gets hit while cranking and is forced to restart the section entirely. 38 minutes and 13 seconds. Orchelon, the machine. The god gamer who spends countless hours grinding out games. Yep. He's proving his competence today. at a merchant, and you talk to the merchant, your inputs are still verified, allowing you to just basically walk out of bounds nice. if you're next to a RNG, wall. Baby. You can see Zeke do this. Ooh, a couple more tries maybe. There it is. Yeah, he walks out go. of bounds just like that. Yeah, and the funny thing is like- Once in the castle, the run killers only speed up in frequency. The first catapult room can be absolutely yeah. deadly. Captain Ezekiel gets his Ashley taking away, forcing him to redo the entire section for a massive time loss. Then, it happens again. This completely booms his mental and makes it hard to get back into the race. Yeah, where he saved last. And we're gonna see Orch do a rifle clip here. Yeah. This one's the hardest one. This door is very, very thick. And ooh! I first I try. Take you down. The water hall is one of the scariest parts in the whole run on Professional. With no checkpoints, any death here would be catastrophic. Fortunately, no one dies here. And uh, at the end of water hall here, if you try to boost Astrid up, sometimes you'll take a long time get killed to walk by to you. Sometimes you'll get there immediately. It really does depend. Trey, though, is on the rifle clip. Ooh, there are enemies on your back, though. That's why you got to get a first try. Otherwise, there's, there's going to be enemies on you. Oh, he's on 1 HP. And he's gonna get it. He's got one more chance. Oh, he's got it! <gasps> nice. What a clutch! But last one. Oh, Ashley is. Ashley oh, is no. grabbed. No. No, Trey. Oh, no, yeah. He's gotta heal himself oh, first. God. Oh no, Trey! Throw a flash. The flashbang. I'm not getting one. Doesn't work out. No, don't inspect the egg. You gotta eat it. <laughs> he's got one shot. Ashley. No, Ashley. Oh. Oh, he's freed her! That's fucking horseshit, man. Jesus that was Christ. very stressful. <laughs> what a shame. Really oh, man. The sniper shot. Beautiful. Yeah, hopefully beautiful. He has enough resources now for water haul. He might have to craft a few extra rifle runs. Mm hmm. He also used the flashbang. Oh. Spicy is on the Crimson Lantern fight. Trying oh. to get the Crimson Lantern from the cultist. There it is. Treasure routing is also beginning here. People are trying to save up, save up enough money for eventually a rocket launcher. Ooh. So as to not overspend money or use money in the wrong ways. Seems like QTT had a rough time in the water hole, but he's recovering, which is good. Oh, and there's Orchlon hanging the the lantern. Oh, Zeke though. Did not use any flashes in the second part of water hall. Quite impressive, if I might say so myself. Or and I see he has hit the Ada cutscene at 46 minutes and 40 seconds. Wow! Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. 46? Nice. Mm -hmm. Doing some puzzles here and there. So you can see that puzzle by Orchelon. This one, a lot of puzzles... No, every single puzzle in this game is 
can be memorized and can be done very, very quickly if you know what to do. There's thankfully no RNG elements in these puzzles. Oh, sniper shots. Yeah, seems yeah. like Nubs is trying to hang in there. Nubs, the Brazilian god gamer. Oh, doing his best! Except for 7 Ray D, yeah. who has a massive time loss death, presumably costing him the entire race. We also got a few finish. new donations uh, $20 from Headbang Tiger, $10 from Brent Chuck, and $50 from Jackson Lee. That is just perfect. Oh no! Oh, oh Ashley's crazy. being kidnapped! He's got one shot, he did it! She'll <laughs> come back here and like. Yeah, Trey is um, not having the best time, but he is Jesus. doing his best. Are you okay? Nav's doing the Nate skip here. Very smooth. Nice. Oh, oh! oh he actually missed it. Ooh. I'm surprised. That looks spot on. Oh it did. no. Oh. It must have been like a fraction too late. Uh, I, I, I jinxed it. I'm sorry, Nuffs. I, I totally jinxed that. Commentator's curse. Yeah. But it's all right. Oh, that is painful. I think he's in the spare right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Holding that up key. Holding that W key. Pressing up strats. Oh, he's, the pain. I think he's, like, in real life, soft locked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soft locked in the room. Unable to to progress. If you don't hit a goat head skip, it is. It's a bit painful. Yes, we're going to go point blank with the rocket launcher. That was a. Uh, oh, yeah, that was very unfortunate. This also on this fight. Yeah, this. The hand cannon. You caught up so fast. I'm like surprised. Like. I'm so surprised. impressed. The consistency on this man. Yeah. There, he gets a very clean fight. It's 7,777 and 77 cents. <laughs> Woohoo! That's chat's favorite number is seven. Seven. Yep. <laughs> QGT viewers will be happy. Yeah. The sevens, they're up. True. Oh no, fuck! Oh, the chainsaw! Oh, that knife's taking a beating, that's gone. Ah, oh, body armor saves him. He can leave. Low, he's making it through. Hopefully, he has a flash to get out. Seven Ray D and Nevs are tied on Verdugo when Spicy, QTT, Bach, and Orchlon are in the minecart section. Spicy followed closely by Distant Orch, then Bach trailing. This is mostly a fight for fourth place at this point. Are you guys ready for the best part in the entire run? <laughs> the Salazar fight? Which also, by the way, comes with the greatest dialogue in the game. I won't spoil it if you. Want to hear it for yourself. Here it comes. It's okay, he snipes a few times. Then and, the oh, egg. What's he doing with the egg? What's he doing? BAMS! Oh! Woo! 70% of HP gone just yep. like that on a win. So the golden egg is kind of an Easter egg. It removes like up to 70% of Salazar's health. Now mm -hmm. Capcom added hints to that. In Salazar's throne room, there's a side quest that says, you know, like egg his portrait. And in the throne room, he also has a golden egg locked behind a puzzle. So he locked away his biggest, uh, you know, his biggest... Oh. And then the broken butterfly to finish him off. Yep, very fast. Rest in peace, Salazar, you will be egged. Uh, if you get that, it's so cool. Like, uh, the alternative is going around the entire turret, which is a lot of time loss. And this is going to do a different... Ooh! Gets oh. shot in the shoulder, but that's okay. Does get it anyways. Oh, oh my god, I need to try that new turret strat. I'm, like, <laughs> so I'm gonna cool. try it after, after the tournament. That's so cool. It's so cool. He's tased. Oh, there you go. But now he gets let through. He's gonna get kicked! No! Oh. Okay. Hopefully he won't get kicked into the turret. Stop it! Oh god. Stop no. it, he's already down! <laughs> yeah, in, in professional... Oh, he gets kicked oh. again! <laughs> He 
Just unlocks it. Oh, no. Oh my god. No. Orch. Name's Orch Rage. Like, I, I hope not. No okay, no, he's before. he's keeping it cool. All right, let's go, Orch. Oh my god, he just got kicked five oh. times in a row. Yeah, so unprofessional, uh, the enemies do not care. Like, the enemies are crazy. Oh, 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 I mean, that, 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 I've never missed the egg. Yes! Oh, Buck here, got yes! the extra. Broken butterfly is doing its magic. Yep. Yeah, if anybody wants to know what happened between Kreiser and Leon, there's a game called Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, which is all oh. about Project Hatchet. Where they went into a jungle together, do a mission. Yep. <laughs> oh! Razor, what? oh no, Ray! Yeah. No. The last regenerator room in chapter 13 is a super scary endeavor. You have to figure out which regenerator has the wrench and then kill that one to get it. The speedrunners are going to be isolating the one with the wrench and then killing them quickly. The problem is, the nearest save station is about six minutes backwards, and there is no way to make safety saves for this section. So, if you were to die, it would potentially be a run ender. Oh, it's doing the crawly oh. thing. Its hitbox is hard to see. Regenerator being regenerator. Oh, no. He's out of ammo! I can't fucking hit him. Yeah, the, the regenerators can be quite the mean. Oh no! He needs to hit the shot, he needs to line up. Can I please just... So many enemies Please. on his side, so little yeah. help. Oh, and two regenerators got loose. That is... Oh, oh really no! Bad. He's dead! I just can't. I cannot... I can't oh. hit it when he's on the ground, man. That is... That I is cannot fucking hit it, dude. For this death, Spicy was in the lead, followed by Dist, then Orch and Bach, and then closely by QTT. After this, though, Dist is down to about fourth place, nearly tied with QTT. I mean, it, it's still fine. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Like, 44 it seconds. Guys, I think that's my tournament life there. <laughs> you carry so Ashley when you're or carrying, no? When you're carrying Ashley, there's a few parts what? where. Oh Is no, Trey died. <gasps> no. Oh, the regenerators. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen Game Troll so much. Yeah, Archon is doing the, the skip oh. with the Novi to get the past turret the skip. turret. He did it. He got it. Skip here. Nobody's lured in. Oh! Doesn't hit the turret. He can't use too many heals here. Oh, oh no. yes! Wait, no! Yeah, that is very No! He needs to get this. Is that? Where's the Nobi? Oh, there it is! Very nice. Nice. He makes it through. Yeah, this is interesting. There's the light. Like the romantic duo making it out. Into and the sunlight time! I see info you stick around. And uh, oh. yeah. Nice. No, round two the will apparently. Oh. So let's check them out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dist! Seven, all right. He's even doing the tricks, guys. He's even 207 59. Oh, DD, how we Despite doing? having a couple Please mishaps, he still yeah. made it. With Bach <laughs> finishing 206 30. Current third place and fourth place. Mm -hmm. QTT, he needs to finish before 207.59. He's got 30 more seconds. It's gonna be tight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very, very tight. Who makes it in the top four? It's QTT or it's Distortion 2. And QTT took damage on the jet ski, which is kind of concerning. That is oh, dangerous. God. Oh god. He's got 15 seconds left. Can he make it? He's got 15 oh. seconds. He has time for a flip. Nice. He doesn't have much more time. I think he's gonna make it. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Two seconds! He's oh. made it in the top four! Jesus. By force! Be final Shame. I kind of knew it was doomed ever since the catapult deaths, but maybe Ezekiel right. gonna finish kind of first. A... Two twelve thirty four. Kind of an Closely game. followed by Nevs, who is Nevs faster with a two eleven. Earlier, two eleven. Yes. Oh, there you go. In the middle of this, I remember when Spicy had to go wash his hands.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. What a journey. What a ride. Yeah. What a jet ski. And that's yeah, time. Let's go. A gold to finish it off. Oh, 0. 0.1 second gold. Oh, oh, oh the photo photo book. Book. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And that was all for the semi-finals. The top four moving on to a second round where they'll do another race exactly the same, but there'll only be four of them this time. The top four leading in first is Spicy with the only sub two hour of this event so far. Then second place, Orchlon with a 203, followed shortly by Bakba Soup with a 206, and then QTT, beating Distortion 2, the current world record holder, by two seconds. Despite all of the ginormous mistakes that Dist had in his run, including that huge time loss death on Chapter 13, QTT edges him out barely by two seconds, making so he is the one that moves on to the final round, not Distortion. QTT came in clutch in the final moments of the open qualifier and then is also in the final moments coming in clutch during this live competition. Is everybody in place? I hope so. Your top four, everybody. They are here. We got for Spicy, QTT6, Bok Orch Orch Lawn. Orch Lawn. God, You know, who do you like for this one? I know Spicy is the easy one to take. You know, you mentioned Orchelon's been putting in a lot of hours. And you remember Village two years ago. Orchelon kind of got some bad, you know, some bad luck, some bad routing. Just everything that could have gone wrong went wrong for Orchelon two years ago. I think he may he may have something to prove here. He may be my pick on this one. He may turn it around two years later. Or who knows? He may just need that prize money to replace all the keyboards he's destroyed. <laughs> for some reason, I want Bach to... No! I take it all back. Forget everything I just said. I want QTT to go over on this one. QTT6, okay. Absolutely. We are off. The The start button's been pressed. Here we the go. gas is being pumped. There oh, we I are. thought we would have four different costumes. The finals are on. This is an environment where anybody is really... You almost want to say that this game almost picks a runner to just be given a lot of opportunity early on. I hate to say it's luck. That's that's a rude way to put it, because you definitely have to show up, you have to aim, and you have to know your route. But mm -hmm. there's definitely instances where, you know, you'll crack open a crate, and for some runners, there'll be some shotgun shells, maybe a nice little package of rifle ammo. For other people, it's pasetas and nothing else, so... Now we're heading off into the village segment. That's going to put him just a little bit behind here, but wouldn't you know RNG here could put him in first at the end of this. It could put him at a respawn timer. It's it's hard to say. Although mm -hmm. that might actually put him slightly off cycle. Ooh, Abuel is a little uphill. Oh, just starts to turn around there. You need that stealth kill to go smoothly here so you don't aggro enemies preemptively. Even a casual like me knows that you need a stealth kill right there to get that thing going, you know, to get that thing started off right. When Leon goes for stealth kills, it's him doing a strat. When I go for one, I wind up in prison. It's not a fair world here. <laughs> I know. It's just not fair. It's just not working out right. It's not. And, now this and, segment here. Oh, go ahead, bud. I was going to say, we got a rules thing here. There's going to be three sections in this game where the runners are allowed to lower their FPS. This is one of them. You may see some menuing right here. You may see some FPS Whoa. lowering. They are allowed right here to do that. Now, this is an instance of panicking. We don't want to see Orchlon take a death here. He did not do a safety save before starting this village segment. He's going all out here. This is not what you want to see. If there's one lesson to take from the last set of runs, it's that you want to take those safety saves. Just look at how Nevs lost so much time going for Goathead there. He didn't safety save before he messed up that grenade skip. And look what it cost him. Put him all the way back at the hedge maze. We don't want that for a Mongolian boy. That is something to keep in mind if you're just joining us and or if you're not familiar with the professional run, there is no auto saving. You you have to save like that. You have to make safety saves and some runners here will take a risk. They will not make safety saves. They'll be confident in their abilities, which they should be. But if the game decides otherwise, you could see some punishing backtracking. And, you know, it's just like we were talking about a little bit before, dude. That start, it, it looked like it could have put Orchlon back, but he was actually the first one to finish the village segment, and I think he's currently out ahead right now. Oh, the accuracy. The guy can't throw uphill. You're not supposed to do that. This that, guy never went to Marine school. That TNT did not make its intended target. Right now, Orchlon and Spicy. Close-ish in the same ballpark. 
Spicy, though, definitely seems to be having the lead right now, about a nine-second lead on Orchlon. Although you gotta wonder, once again, when Spicy makes his stop at the Merchant, will we start to see that even out a little bit more? Personally, I got a little bit of a, a game theory here. I think oh. that when, when runners press go around the same time, they, they, they like kind of make a spirit ball of good RNG, and it all gets sucked out of one person's game, and it goes to another person's game. Do you have any idea how many times Spicy or uh, Dis just ran past a Ganado? Oh my god, when he got... When Spicy got backed into the corner by two Chainsaw Sisters, mm -hmm. no knives in the back pocket. He he should have been dead to rights. He walked out, not a scratch on him, not a cloud in the sky. I don't know what to tell you. And that was not just a theory, folks. That was a game theory. That was a game that theory. A game theory. The nice thing is, again, is that that consistency is shining through for Spicy. Now, of course, he's not safe. You're never safe. But overall, the game still leans so heavily on raw execution, Enigma. And, you know, so many times you'll see, like, in the cabin section coming up, or even in that village section that we saw at the very start of the game where they're chucking nades and trying to get shotgun headshots, if you miss one of those, oh, you'll, you'll want those back. That's yeah. putting it lightly. All it takes is one to go wrong to throw everything off kilter. But in terms of consistency, Spicy is the one that does appear to have the most consistency. But in a tournament setting, there's pressure. There's money on the line. You never oh, know who true. not only may crack under the pressure, but who might rise to the occasion a little higher than normal. Some people like the pressure. And speaking of liking the pressure, I'm just seeing nothing but smiles over on Orchlon stream right now. This is... I'm I'm quite okay with this, man. I want to see people having a good time here. You know, you've invested so many weeks, hours, months, years into Resident Evil 4 Remake at this point, you know? I mean, the game's only been out for a couple of months, and people are already, uh, you know, just missing out on the birth of their first child to do runs. It's what's required, honestly, when you're going up against Distortion 2. Orchlon is also at Del Lago now. Balk and QT QTT6 are also right there as well. This is relatively tight. We'll see what happens. This is one of the big positive mental attitude moments in the run. This should be consistent. There's no excuse for messing this up. And if you miss a harpoon, ooh, that's going to keep yeah, you up at night. It will. You will not forget about that one, especially here in the finals. It is a lot different here than the first round. A lot more on the line. One cycle could be coming to an end here for Spicy. He has one more to throw. He gets his first there try. It is. Spicy completes Del Lago first, going into Chapter 4. On an absolute ripper here. Meanwhile, Orchlon's turn. He gets Orchlon his one gets cycle. It. I think one harpoon earlier than Spicy, actually. Might Both runners. I do believe Wait. Del Lago was a little bit further away when Orchlon, he may have closed a little bit of a gap there. Bok Basoup and QTT6 still looking. Do take note, I do believe I'm seeing some Rainbow Road looking ass splits over on Spicy's screen. I think they're plus, but it's still fairly in range of a great run that he just came out of. We'll stay within five seconds of a sub two. I'm not mad at that. Now, Bach, don't be fooled here. He's not taking a break. Supposedly, Bach has to watch this cutscene. Other. Oh, no. QTT. QTT6 does PMA. not get the one cycle. That's going to haunt him. He's waking yeah. up tonight after whatever happened. He could win. He'll still go and journal about this later. This is the big, this is the first biggest gap we're going to start seeing between our runners right here. And what a heartbreaker, too. I could understand if someone like ran upon him at random. But this, this one should be free. This one should be dollar store, actually. Meanwhile, Spicy here is about to do some fast menuing. He's hitting up his boy, the merchant. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We have the Spinel uh marketplaces here as well sticking those those blue gems into that mask doing a lot of selling there's that fish you may have seen him redeem the the blue piece of paper that's going to give you a lot of benefits here at the merchant we're even getting rid of our shotgun here because it's all about the sniper rifle we need to invest a minimum of, of 103,000 pesetas this shop in order to be able to upgrade its damage just below its final upgrade, get a little bit more ammo capacity in there and increase, I believe, its reload speed. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of knife upgrading there as well. Knife becomes a little bit crucial at this point. And you go ahead and bump it up right here. 
Speaking of, it's all about the economy here. The merchant here is the homie, and we need the butterfly lamp to grease the palms just a little bit more. But now it's time to put that rifle to good use. We got 15 shots and a big boy to put down with it. It's time for El Gigante, which isn't just what they call me on the streets. <laughs> but what about the sheets? Um, well... Is that another discussion for another time? I, that, 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 that's a sadder story. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. We got that sniper rifle going right into the Plagas coming out of the back of Eligante. We're going to see. This should be relatively smooth, just pumping shots into the into the face and then to the Plagas on the back. Should be clean. We're honing in on spicy. Perfect. There you go. Crystal Beautiful clear spider. right there. Believe it or not, this is an accuracy challenge. I've seen many a runner miss shots here. You don't want to lose out time on this. I believe Zeke actually messed this up during our our qualifier for this. Ooh, we throw the hand grenade there to get the restun. Cancels the charge. But now he has to really adapt here. He wants to get the flog out. Oh, he's got to move away. Uh-oh. He's dodging the tootsies. You know he's not a Twitch viewer. He's a Twitch streamer. Important to note that Spicy is on the very same pace as his first run in the first round. He is he is consistent, king of consistency. Poor guy Which right one? now just wants to see the Plaga, dude. He needs to hit these shots. He's off at a little bit of an odd angle, but this should be smooth sailing from here. Gets the kill. Decent recovery from Orch. Suffered a bit of damage. Lost a decent amount of ammo and some knife durability for his trouble. Now it's time for Bach so to prove far, yeah. his metal in the so arena. Thankfully you guys Would you want him though. on your Counter-Strike team? We're about to find out. As long as you can't we are about one, to find that out in a big run. way. Oh, Does he God. see the Plaga? There we go. There it is. Popping out. It's popping out. Now he's going to have to reload here. Well, decent, decent. Is, That's going to cover his reload good. there. He's going to craft the problem. ammo here. Running a little lean. Gets the nade for the guaranteed re-stagger. We need to get those headshots off. Oh, he's roaring. He's big mad. He's going to have to reload again. We're oh, reload we're going again. for the knife oh, strikes. For the I have no time we even saw the shrug there. He doesn't even know <laughs> what's going on right now. Will it get the kill? Pistol attack, so. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading. I don't know if he's going to go for it, though. He is. He oh, is. Oh, oh, no, he went oh, back. Where the was that going? That was wide. There it is. All right, he is through. QTT now finally in the middle of the El Gigante fight, just reloading after hopefully hitting all his shots in the first phase. Gets the re-stagger. This one's big. He's hitting his shots, but he only has a couple of more attempts. Hope the damage is good. This is One the final test. Bullet. Oh, oh, we got it on the last bullet. Oh, I my goodness. I don't believe it, dude. That is crazy. Last bullet and got it. You know he wasn't even flinching. He said, I got this. You know, if that is not the story of QTT's run this whole tournament, fight hard to the very end. The last bullet will get you there. All right, now it's time for the cabin. This segment is consistent, and I think Spicy might be the one to demonstrate it. So for the layman here, we need seven kills during this first wave to spawn a new wave. After all those Ganados die, then... Then, it's like Call of Duty Zombies. We want to start letting them pass the barriers so we can get the max ammo drops. In the form here, of boards. Throws the nade. That's your that's your squad right there. Now, every Granado past this point, we're going to want them once again into the cabin. Kill them. Take the boards. Once all the windows on the bottom are boarded up, we can head upstairs. And get off to the next segment. This is an interesting funnel here. Ooh, that might gatekeep him from... Ooh, thankfully. Ah, but that's an unfortunate thing that can happen. If a Ganado tries to climb into the window, you're not boarding it up that quickly, buddy. Meanwhile, Spicy now hitting really close shots in a tight proximity. This is what I'm talking about, where you got to hit your shots. Accuracy is everything here. And if you don't believe me, just go talk to Distortion 2 when he tried to get that wrench out of that, uh, out of that regenerator. Oh, really good parry as well. Oh, yes. Execution is on. Ashley, get me out of this segment. I don't want to be here anymore. Bach right now is expending some interesting resources. Don't know about that grenade toss there. Not sure it was necessary. I think we're still looking to board up the other oh, window as well. He may have what he needs. He does. 
Okay, I might actually die here, guys. By the way, you may see you may see spicy down there before we went to Orchelon, just upgraded the case to get a little bit bigger of a case. And just to clarify some more rules, charms on the cases are not allowed and any deluxe edition content also not allowed. But spicy did just upgrade their case to get a bigger case before we went oh. to Orchelon. And Orchelon... Oh. Orchelon cannot hit his shots, man. Shots Go back to Cove. What are we doing are here? Not connecting. Gonna eat some eggs. Remember, He's eggs good. Definitely. Who's that? Slurp, go. slurp. Derek, more plates, more dates in the mix. Yes. Meanwhile, uh oh, someone is trying to gank Ashley away from Spicy here. I did see that. There's that down. was a section where you really, it really benefits you to stealth. Oh god. Oh no! Don't, and I don't saw see. some flash grenades, but I do believe Spicy got through uh, with Ashley. No, he Without actually had to alarm. restart the segment. Yeah, he had to restart the segment. Is that a restart? Now, he did. I am he so did. focused on these other screens. I can't even imagine. Our previous commentators had to do this with eight. Unbelievable. <laughs> so that is a restart of the section. Ashley was grabbed and was taken away. You, stealth here is super crucial to be Not able to do that in peace and quiet. Ooh, Ooh. Caught a caught a bow to the lower back. Well, seeing right now, Spicy did suffer a little bit of time loss towards his midpoint of the run, so that may or may not preclude him from even getting a sub two period. But of course, it's a long way. That's assuming quite a few things, actually. Flashbang invested right now from QTT. He's hitting his shot. Should only need one more. Oh, the, uh, the hammer drops. Cow man is down. Spicy is about to run into a certain pair of sisters, and they are not happy. Let's see Ooh, if we get the stagger. Shot stagger. All right, he needs to play this the old-fashioned way. Oh, he's getting ran upon. Ooh! Right. Did not get the quick bit. stagger. All right, thankfully the Bella sister is down, and the other one is off in Narnia. He needs to be quick in gathering the crank and getting the, the hell crank. out of here. Get out. There you go. Got the crank. He should have the flashbang to invest here to make it safe for him to churn the butter. And it's correct. Orchelon will now be encountering the sisters. Let's see what happens here. Another first shot stagger. You hate to see it. Means he has to play dynamically. We know the shots aren't on under pressure. Oh, oh but God. thankfully he gets the four quick ones. The other Bella sister's taking time. Please shoot my sister. What are we the doing? The other Bella sister was just chilling at the end of the table, just watching all that go down. All right, got to get away. All right, Orchlon gets out with the crank. These are some tight lines we're running here. Orchlon needs to invest. He doesn't have the flashbang. He's got to craft it. Ooh, he's got to craft a flashbang, but at least he can. That's true. Be much better than not being able oh, to. No, he He's got juicing. You gotta take your wins. Really gotta take your wins where you can get them. He oh, was he able to at least really craft the flash. The now you think these guys are holding their eyes? They just saw the light, oh, but he's still not safe. Okay, oh, fine. if you get hit here, he's gotta restart it. There it is. He got it. But even now, he's got to push it open, and that gives still time for the other Bell sister to potentially close the gap. He's free. But now, where's Ashley? Will she be able to escape safely? She's in the help status. Has been grabbed. This oh, is tough. This is another flashbang invested for Orchlon. He needs to. He, he can't throw the Hail Mary. He has to push the door open. He's got to go he back to the door. Time. But guess what's waiting on the other side? It's the Bella sister. He needs to be quick in getting her back. Chuck the nade. Will it catch the sight line? Thankfully, she it drops did. the white woman. Needs to go, go, go. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. This is not what you want to see for Orchlon. You want this to look just like Bach. You invest one flash and then you're out of there for the rest of the run, dude. Come on. That was like a total bait. Meanwhile, Spicy successfully completes the Mendez skip. Yep. And Orchlon gets a, 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 what's the word? A compensatory? What's compensatory, yes. Yeah, a compensatory flash grenade there. And Mendez will just be up here chilling, watching the tournament with the rest of us. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh oh, here we go. QTT6 is about to encounter the sisters. Let's see what another first shot stagger. Now he's closing a gap. This is tough. I don't know about this one. We need to see those shotgun shells being blasted. Oh, <laughs> that is it's, frisky. It's and not risky. even a quick kill. Oh, oh, that's a huge oh, time investment. No. And she's still not down. She's still not down. And he got grabbed. grabbed. That's going to be a knife cost in you, buddy. You want that to parry these chainsaws. Oh, oh he's taking, got hit by that torch. That fire oh could have been the end for him. Look at him move around that menu. Oh, poor oh, boy. Got he the needs crank. to get the hell yeah, out of here. Room. Had to, uh, there we go. Okay. He's dodging. Oh, my majors. goodness. Left, right, and center. That was dicey. Call him Pico de Gallo. That was risky and frisky. Bach here crossing the bridge. Hoo-wee. Meanwhile, Ashley getting grabbed for QTT as well. 
Now he needs to successfully churn this without getting clipped, like you'd mentioned, Enigma. If he gets hit off of this, it's back to the start, and he's losing health for the trouble. He yep. gets it, though. And we're just in time here for Spicy to make his catapult run. To respond to this somehow, Orchlon now making his approach as well. Oh my god, the AoE on this has got to be sending Spicy's blood pressure through the roof right now. And she dies! Oh, Ashley no. is dead! Oh my goodness. And see, this is where the run and where everything can change just in the snap of a finger. Orchlon now has a, has a bit of a window that has opened up for him. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. We're coming up upon our first real door skip here. Oh, this is where you clip it. through a door using your scoped yeah. rifle. And if you flick your mouse around real quickly, you can appear right on the other side of it. This is the hardest one to do. Orchlon in the driver's seat. And he gets it so he crispy. It. He's so clean with it. All smiles in the Orchlon camp right now. Stocks are rising. That's going to give him a nice little lead right now. Bok Basoop, not too far behind, though. Damn it. His first attempt, action on Bok. Ooh, one attempt down. Oh, Ooh, 30. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting Ooh. not to like his odds. Oh, this is tough. This is quite memes and I'm dreams right now. Only one slash oh, Jarvis, oh. show me this guy's heart rate. Meanwhile, Bach oh, is God. making his way up to the Ashley segment here. Orch has QTT. got five shots left in that sniper. Where's the flail guy? QTT is having a little oh. bit of trouble Ooh, getting the first deal to spend. And the enemy hides behind oh. the pillar. Oh, Bach just took his dime! Getting a bit of handgun ammo and a boot oh, knife. And a first boot trouble. knife. And some rifle ammo. Okay, Orch. What's money? I don't need any of that. Oh, meanwhile, QTT. Oh, man. Now, see, this is something we saw happen to a different runner last time. This water hall is brutal. Oh. What was that? Did someone chuck a spear at him? What was Using that? Using all the heals in the inventory. All right, now I it's think. time for... It is hard to keep up with this. The first four it screens really of massive action. I'm thinking about baseball now. <laughs> All right, we're watching Spicy. Spicy was in the lead for a good bit of this beginning of the run, but you saw how quickly it can change, but just how quickly it changed, how quickly it could go back. Spicy's looking to reclaim that ground that was lost. Oh, you're never safe here in this run, but thankfully a very nice segment here. It grabs the Crimson Lantern. He should be safe to run out of here. What are the drops? And right now, if you're interested in the standings as of uh, the Chapter 8 end, we got Orchlon in first at 52.38, Spicy in second, 53.42, Balk Basoop in third at 54.35, QTT6, 54.46. There's only a two-minute and eight-second difference. In this game, that can change instantaneously. It is still pretty tight in my book. So this part right here, Orchelon just did a safety save. If you get killed here, there's no there's no saving after the skip. Orchelon having a little... Uh, you, oh, there he goes. He got in. So if you get killed here, you got to go all the way back. <clears throat> and the Novies can be, you know, temperamental as they always are. Cop. Ooh. No. Oh, oh, he's knocked down. He's right in the face. All right. We're not so out of the woods yet. Like the bugs Ooh, can spicy still got, Oh, Spicy got knocked off the ladder. He needs health right now. A green and a red invested. Oh! He's not able to get up the ladder, dude. Oh, I don't my goodness. To... Chuck's an early flash. Gotta throw a flash. Gotta do it. Got knocked off the ladder twice. Unbelievable. This is still the first lever he needs to pull, too. We have a long way to go in the Novi's room. Long way to go. So he may, be, he may have closed the gap right there between second and third place. Balk had a clean Novi chamber. And thankfully, QTT is given a nice, handy, easy double Garador room. Bach, though, knocking him around a little bit. Oh, Just they're coming through this... the doorway. Uh oh. Oh, you don't oh. want this. Bach, I'm so sorry. This. Oh, hey. Oh, oh my God. Free 99. Orchelon, by the way, we don't want right. to overlook him. Just bought the rocket launcher for Verdugo, hey, but I am locked into Balk in these Garadors. There is some trouble brewing. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, Big damage. He's going to have to invest some resources. Make that herb, baby. Keeping an eye on Orchelon over here at the same time. Got to freeze Verdugo and hit him with a rocket launcher. Got to make sure that rocket does not miss because it can. The way those grenades knocked him around was not good. Threw off the oh, whole setup. Is still getting clawed. Big slices happen right now on box side of the fence. Given oh, away TNT right in the front, but it was not lit. It was not lit, fam. 
Oh, oh, oh the chainsaw, chainsaw is right behind. Oh, and they threw a TNT right at the. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna have to defend himself here. Black. Oh, oh my! Was God. Just in time. Woo, Jesus. That investment is more than worth it. He blows up the crate oh, down below. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable. That guy was so fast, man. All right, Orchlon coming up to the minecart section. There's, if there is ever a oh, physical so sure and a, breather, a mental Luis. breather yeah, in this time. run, I know you worked really hard. It there. is the minecart section. It is darn near. I uh, know I may be it's creating here, some too. jinx energy here. If you believe in that sort of thing, <laughs> oh, wait, it's but this is this is pretty uh, this is pretty free as it gets. Dude. So, but we'll keep an eye on it. You never know. Is right oh, as well as QTT's turn now to see if he can actually clear the Giants as well. Everyone's doing the quick kill strat. Ooh, but, uh -oh. Chains Chainsaw is attracted to Bakba Soup right now. Chainsaw Lady right. wants that chicken plushie. Dude, but but he gets away. He said no sale. Two attacks in right. Ooh, that like, was close. Oh, damn, Bok. Nice shot. QTT gets the Iron Ooh, Golem down. Just as Bok. Right? He, he was it's, shrinking away yeah, from the monitor. Balls. You could see he's him. He got a little right bit now. smaller in his webcam yeah, when the chainsaw yeah. entered the room. I can't say I blame him at all. The question is, does he hit his Magnum shots? Ooh, I wonder if that heavy grenade went a little low. It looked like it did. Magnum dental work being oh, done. No. Ooh, oh, got hit by the foot. How did that hit him, dude? He wasn't even the right postcode. Oh, another one. That's How better. did that one miss? Oh, well, right. still you, comes You figure the naked. one that Fuck. missed. You ruined my last run. Uh, I, I can't even fathom. The one that was farther away looked like it hit him. That's what I was trying to... Oh, is he is he on it? Will one foot oh, count? Is. Yes, it will. Okay. If it's a pixel on... Zoomed in on Orchlon now, who is the leader of the pack right now. Ooh, got by the Novies after the minecart. I think unless... Oh, there's Luis right there. All right, there he is, the man of the hour, Mr. Red Beret himself, the guardian angel, Jack Krauser. See what happens. Now, throughout this did, a, did a knife repair, and I do believe the knife will be upgraded to max damage right before this. The big objective here is to sneak in swipes while you can, and the kicks, the kicks are what really handles it, dude. It's the Air Jordans making contact, the Butters, the Timberlands. Hitting hard. Ooh, took a hit right there. Down to about 40% HP. He's trying to put boots in ass right now, but he also needs to hit. Ooh, Ooh. really solid. Leon really leaned into that one. I can't he believe did. it. <laughs> Ooh, he's getting a good little cycle here. I'm liking this. Not the fastest thing oh, in the world. Oh, just got really swiped. Got a lot of healing, though, in that attache case. Oh, and he's cleared of it. Krauser won down for Orchlon. <laughs> Spicy on deck now. Orchlon will advance to chapter 12 first. Oh my god, this is looking like a, a, a typical British day. A man in a nice blouse getting into <laughs> knife fights. Here we go. <laughs> the dodge prompts pressed. Krauser holding his hand like, oh, I can't believe you've done this. Ooh, thankfully. Ooh, big parry segment here. Big open is this. Four parries in a row and a dodge. Now this is big hits to the knife durability. Boom. Right in nice the face, damage right cross. in the left ear. Ooh, he came in for so many quick stabs there. Ow. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, because coming up next is the clock tower. QTT, though, is still down in the mines. He's fighting off the former captain. Mobster style. He's even dressed for the occasion. Ooh, catches a quick one to the side of the jaw. Ugh. That's not going to do much for the dating profile, buddy. I'll keep it a buck with you. Good parries will, though. Chicks dig that kind of thing. They sure do. Ooh, a little bit of unfortunate mashing here. Terrible for the wrist health. Just want to let everyone know going into chapter 12 orchelon is only ahead of spicy by one second that gap has closed up and that one second could could bleed out anywhere through a small like menuing change it could bleed out through you know going to pick up one last thing could be a missing shot anything right now could tip the balance of who takes home all of that money 
QTT6 oh, now advances into chapter 12. It's Balkabasoup's <laughs> turn. Who's already investing some healing pretty early he on into this. Is low on heals, only has one full heal left and two greens in the case, it looked like. I didn't see if there was any first aid sprays. Krauser says, I taught you to knife fight better than that, rookie. No! Ooh, Not good parries, combo. though. Ah, uh, unfortunate little bit of uh, mashing here, but I think, I don't know Krauser. if you get damage out of this or not. I never looked into it. Major! What's gotten into you, Major? Oh, but you do get damage out of stabbing somebody major. in the face. That's for sure. You're a Major douche. That is a proven fact. True fact. Yeah. Ooh, also out of it. That looked pretty, pretty clean. Fight. Yep, there we go. Because dying here is not fun. Losing time here is bad, but it beats the hell out of seeing the restart timer. While we're while we're going up, uh, Vash is going to keep an eye on this train card. But going in to Chapter 12, in fourth place, QTT6. Balk Basoup in third place. There's only a 14-second difference between them. Spicy in second place. Orchelon in first. There was only a one-second difference. It is tightly packed at the top. Now, in an interesting decision here, Spicy has actually decided that he's uh, he's a man of charity. He's going to let a couple of Ganados actually touch the cart, slow him down a little bit, just so we can line up a nice shotgun shell to the back of the dome. Okay, okay, okay. Now, or do you remember that uh that little golden egg that we picked up back at Bok Island? I do, yeah. And the health discussion that followed, yes. Yeah, so believe it or not, um, golden eggs are the bane of manlets everywhere. If you ever <laughs> want to get rid of one of them. Oh, yeah, look at that reaction. He's, oh. Magnum bullets, also they don't like? No, definitely not. It's like those ads on the internet. Manlets hate this one eggs? trick. And it was a golden egg. Uh, a golden clean egg by Orchelon. All right. I think QTT died on the staircase. Yeah. I think I saw him have to reload at the bottom. It looks like he got crushed by a ball. Unfortunate there. That's one of the risks you take when you try to get through the cycle early. You try to save time, it might cost you a whole lot. For QTT to just skate by and get into the get into the top four, only to take a death here of all places, one of the yeah. worst oh, places no you could hold that. Pistol and started. I, I, I think it was just the, uh, I think it was just the enemies Dude. that killed QTT. I don't even think it was the, uh, it wasn't, oh, the I, I, was it the oh ball? God, it was the ball. It was the ball. It was the ball. But it was I am so, I, uh, but. there's so much action at the top between Spicy and Orchelon. It's just, it's so easy to miss something. There is a lot going on. There is top play with all of this. Speaking of missing, Bach is having a little yeah. bit of trouble hitting these shots, keeping his lift safe and secure. They keep getting Who right on it, guy? and it is island time. Orchlon is on the island. Truly, if you think that anything right now is solidified, Anytime, right now yeah. Orchlon is ahead of Spicy okay, by just 15 Holy seconds. Shit. Now, if you nice. think that's now a safe lead, welcome to professional speedrunning, kid. I'm Here's walking. the problem. So Thank much of this out. run well. is backloaded onto the island as far as yeah. big skips and safety. You can die instantly so many times here, not just by massive waves of enemies, but by this upcoming trick here, the turret skip. Now, all throughout the island, there are death traps, turrets that'll get you up if you cross over into their laser line of vision. You see that there. You don't want to walk into that yourself. Beautiful Instead, shot. You want enemies oh, to shit, take the I fall for you oh now i don't know why orchlon shot that guy in the I head the cuts and You're supposed to i think he's he's thinking strike. to himself about what he what he just did oh it was an instinct oh so he shot the enemy in the head right before he paused the game this is huge uh oh yeah i don't think yeah that enemy was not supposed to be killed I, I don't I know what happened there, but Orchelon has to reload this entire section. And look who's coming behind him. It's Spicy. Spicy throws the, I think that was the grenade. Yes. Yep. Spicy the do what Orchelon can't. Oh my goodness. I would be very curious to know what that sniper shot was about. I don't know if it was just instinct. He tr he tried it again. I don't. He went, I don't he, he went to he went to shoot it again. I guess maybe to shoot the gun to make something come through the door. Oh, mayhaps. But then why wouldn't he just keep things rolling? I'm uh, call me Jigsaw, baby. I'm puzzled. Oh, he's just tanking. Oh my oh, god! But the boots! 
The boots! The forward roundhouse! Oh, he barely skates he through! He just skimmed through that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, shit, he's but now that little mishap has now created a little bit of a gap and possibly a fight for third. Oh, God, gears, Depending man. on how the rest of the island goes. Spicy, though, is bomb. leading the charge right now. Because I didn't have a grenade, Snareverse. I didn't have a grenade. I have a grenade. So supposedly the reason that all that happened, Orchelon didn't have a grenade after all. So we had to oh. rely on a backup strat, and it went awry. Every single player in this tournament has been trying to get this top spot. That's what the fight is going on right now between Orchelon and the young Spicy. Damn it. We're seeing it right now. Bach right now is risking his life walking in front of laser beams that will shoot him if he crosses it wrong. Skip it now. That's his task. It's a dirty game. He's got to be the one to clean it. See if he clears it. Ooh, this is tough. I don't know quite where he should be aiming on this one. Initially, I thought they... Oh, he wants him to kick into it. He's taking the blocks. He's through. Balk also did not have a grenade right there as well. Let's see if QTT6 can get by the turret right here. Chucks There's the, the grenade. Nade. Pushes the enemy go into it. There we go. All right. Through. All right, I used to... I now any Distortion 2 fans in the chat, you need to pay big attention to this. I want to see, I want you to guys see how this can also go wrong for other people too. This is not guaranteed, all right? So the objective here, we see a wrench embedded in Bootylicious. What do we got to do? We got to hit a collateral. You got to explode easy. a lot of those bulbs at once. There and we he's go. Good. Spicy, clean, and you, you you saw distortion. You saw how quickly that can go wrong mm -hmm. and how not easy that is. They don't care that you're in the wall. Oh, They'll break those Orch down, too. Orchelon, it was the fourth one that he looked at. It was the last one. And he wasn't able to set up a collateral, but he was able to get the kill really quickly. He nice kill aim. pretty quick. Snake would be There proud. it is. Balk found it on the second one. Got to get oh, the I collateral. Oh, that, oh, boy. I think that was two. No, there you go. No, it was not. Oh, they got it, though. Clean, 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 clean. By the way, all of our runners have joined us on Chapter 14 in fourth place. QTT6, Balk Basoop in third place, Orchelon in second, and Spicy in first. And there is quite a gap now. There's about a minute and a half between Spicy and Orchelon. But there is a lot that can happen here on the island. So keep an eye on everything. Now we're going to see the Killer7 approach to this fight. We're going to be unloading on him. We're going to be kicking after three shots in order to reset that stagger timer. And the rest of the time, we're going to be playing defensively. Good dodges. Oh, oh got grabbed, grab. but can knife out of it. That'll cost him a blade. And that's it. And he gets a clean kill. Very quick there. Now this one will be quick. Don't blink, you'll miss it. There's the rocket launcher. Orchelon uses the rocket on Krauser. On oh, Spicy right there, use a heavy grenade and a regular grenade to take down that AA, uh, that AA contraption. And you need to do that to get rid of it or else you'd have to go all the way around, I think up a ladder. So it saves a lot of time to do that two grenade strat. Is Orch at the end of Krauser yet, guys? And you have to be careful in this section for turrets. Oh, Spicy is paused. I think another another hand wash. He does have a little bit of hand washing buffer time. If that is what needs to be done. I don't know. Ooh. I can't see what's going on. I feel like but, that Magnum ammo shot went a little wide there, what he tried to do. I don't, yeah, I do not believe it hit. Now you can knock people off the turrets, but here's the thing. There's other enemies that can get here. back on the turret. So you're not completely safe. Got to pull these two. Oh man, you got to pull these two switches. The flash grenades are going to be very, very needed here. Going to jump over the barrier and go to the other side. Right now, he's got two flashes left in the bag. I love when he doesn't die to that strat. It's my favorite. There's one. I better hustle, I guess. Not. Oh, I don't know if that was considered thrown a little early. Ooh. Thankfully, he has one in reserve, but he's not out of the woods yet. Ooh, okay, catches pulled. a bolt for his issues, dude. Had to use a first aid spray, got a shoot to get by, goes over the barrier. I couldn't see if anybody got on that other turret. I don't think so. No, it's clear. Okay. There you go. Nice little bit of reloading. Nobody's trying to hit his ass on the way what, out. Now it's time, time to see if he finish? goes for duffel bag. Um, it's my understanding happens. he's Throw trying the... to discern Orch's pace to see whether what or not he should even see? go for the skip. Because it may not be worth it. Yeah, if he's that far ahead, he, I think he's asking his chat. Um from what I can tell, I can't, I'm not watching the stream, but perhaps he's getting, or the chat is at least contributing the information, but there's a lot of time here at the pause menu. That's true. Officer, I don't know if uh, he can be getting away good. with all that. 
and going and going into this chapter, I think. Let me pull it up here. I think Spicy was ahead by about a minute and a half. I would like to at least finish the. Now that may be a lot of time, but depending on how many times he dies to turret two, that might not be worth it. Sometimes you just kind of got to meet yourself where you're at. Meanwhile, Orchlon like is he, meeting himself in the hell room. Looks like, did he do it? I, I don't, I, did he fall through? I wasn't looking. No, he would still be falling right now if he had I done it. I think he it did not. Like he yeah. did not do it. He said, just go. People are telling him, just go. He's not doing the duffel. He, he says, I'm not doing the duffel glitch. glitch. And Orchlon has done the duffel skip. The he got it. Let's see what happens. All right, Orchlon did do the duffel skip. Let's see what happens. That's going to come down to two big things. This is Orchlon's last, last real hurrah, really, to get back into the first place, you know, shot at this. Spicy right now is heading up towards turret two. He's practiced this so much. You'd think it'd be free, but there's a price tag on this one. Oh, he misses his first shot. Not looking too crispy. Second shot hits. Now he's got to position Ooh. himself close to the lasers. He's not even... Is he not doing it? He's not doing, He's not doing it. it. Oh, that's a that's interesting. Look at that. He says safety first, kids. That this is a choice right here. Seatbelts on in the car, Durex in the wallet. Always. Honestly, I like it. I like the decision to play to your out in the tournament environment. And you do have you do have the option. That's the beautiful thing about the tournament. You have the option to do it whatever way you feel the best way to do. Now, the tough thing here is it's going to keep him safe. It's going to get him moving. But right now, Orchlon's not taking that chance. He's smiling. He knows he's about to get devious. Here we go. He knows what's upcoming. Orch now, he's got the health. He's got the armor. He sets up. Here we go. Oh, oh and he oh. takes the death. Oh, he took the death. Oh, oh, man. He says, I'll see you in fourth, kid. Go back oh, to the man. race car time. Oh, no. Spicy right now is taken. He's walking. He's the tortoise crossing the, the finish line so, so safely, so surely. And you can see now why Spicy played it safe. I mean, it was, you just never really know. But here, now you, you kind of know a little bit. So he didn't do the duffel bag skip. He didn't do the turret skip. And it is, uh, it is paid off. Damn. Yep. Orchlon right like, now, he gets a second try like, turret skip, provided nobody shoots him like aggressively. Fucking, uh, no, he's through. Axie, the problem is he's lost his duffel bag, so he's going to take quite a bit of time loss here. right now. Yep. At least at the pace things are going. You know what? I apologize. I just Man, forgot. I hex spicy. He's crashing in the jet ski. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh oh. I well, I don't have anything to do with that. All right, I'm just calling it like I see it. But you know, you do what you need to do. I'll do what I need to do. And I want to thank everybody and let everybody know that our prize pot just went over fourteen thousand dollars. We just had two prize pot contributions. Never Walker alone is back. Two hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty one cents. And Halil with two hundred and fifteen dollars. Halal said good luck to all the runners and thanks so much for the brilliant commentary. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you. And it's very nice of all of you. Let's get this thing to 15K. We're only seven hundred and eighty five dollars away from 15k make sure all these runners get a as Alas. big of a piece of the pie as yeah. they can no she drives a uh, lexus they're all gonna be Alas. needing an ooh Jesus. shots Thanks to the back right now for qtt trying oh, to get his way out of there we're I looking at bok basoop right now bullshit part. he's going for the turret skip he's saddling up to it what is he laughing now at? even though the setups are fairly consistent the results are not always guaranteed I don't know if he's close enough to it. He gets hit, and he's there able to get go. through. He got it. He got it. Balk Bazoop got it. it. Meanwhile, action oh. now on QTT to make his attempt at it. <laughs> As of right now, we're waiting for the setup. Spicy leads with a 158.32 at the end of Chapter 15. Orchlon two minutes behind with a 2 hour 37. Oh, and another. Oh, that, wait that, a minute. That, He's that, not out that, of the woods that, yet. That, 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 An that, herb and a fish. That. Well garnished. Seasoned to perfection. <laughs> that gets him back up to full health after his turret to QTT. Making his way downtown. Looking right now Ooh, out. Over the right side. Staying to the right. 
It's looking pretty clean and clear. See the daylight. Done and dusted. I think I see first place. And he's and there good. Is it, dude. Spicy wins it. I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't. Two even hours, like, three minutes, react? 48 seconds on the button. Spicy takes first place twice. You want to talk about consistency? Say. Give me your money. That's spicy, not everybody else who qualified for this tournament. That's him to waifu say. right now. Hard fought, well earned. Enjoy your cutscene, Ashley. It's beautiful. We actually did it. Enigma, I think there's somebody waiting for you in the donation queue. You know how to pronounce the name. I do not. Ah, yes. Oh, do I ever. <laughs> Rodion <laughs> Konek. $1,000. It's now at $15,000. Oh, yeah. Claps in the chat, everybody. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much, everybody. Unbelievable. All of you are incredible the runners the viewers the prize pot contributors the organizers this has been one hype saturday and that means now since we got it over to 15k that our our contestants that didn't make it to the finals they will now be receiving 375 dollars for their participation it's so good when everybody gets something and all eight of these runners have provided us some unbelievable entertainment this evening so uh, it's it's yeah. wonderful that everybody came together for this the way they did. Bach here. Bach the soup. There he is. Two oh six fifty. Two oh six fifty. You know, for not being a reset run, there's no reason to be upset about that. Like honestly, for has for how hard everybody had to try to get into the low two hour segments, right? There was a time when you thought you were safe in this. <laughs> What, what, what you got? I'm so I think Orchelon was looking up computer parts already on his screen. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, you only see it here. He's already looking at motherboards, I think. Damn, he said, I, I'm getting how much money? <laughs> oh, man. And QTT6. Bam, there it is, 208.51. Hoo-wee, <laughs> buddy. So just to recap, QTT, six, finishing in fourth place, two hours, eight minutes, 51 seconds. Balkaba Soup finishes third place, two hours, six minutes, 50 seconds. Orchlon finishes second place, two hours, five minutes, and 43 seconds. And the winner, Spicy, two hours, Three minutes and 48 seconds. Spicy finished first place in both rounds today. Unbelievable. You know, I love to keep track of these type of things and let you know what your hype goes back into. Our prize pot right now is at $16,048.07. So as of right now, the pot is still open, but here's how it all shakes down. I just want to let you know what all of our contestants competed for today. Finishing in fourth place, QTT6 has won $1,000. $504.80. Finishing in third place, these are US dollars, by the way. Finishing in third place, Balkaba Soup has won $2,257.21. Second place, Orchelon, already looking up those motherboards, getting paid $4,514.42. And our winner, Spicy, first place, six thousand seven hundred and seventy one dollars and sixty three cents you all made this happen with your hype prize pot contributions that you are all incredible i just want to say you have made this worth everybody's while who participated today and i just want to say a uh, special shout outs to spicy as well he is having quite a five day period uh, not only did he just win a payout up to $67,7100, he also became a Twitch partner five days ago. So everything is turning up quite well for Spicy. If the man me, behind it all today. Yeah, if you guys don't know me, I'm waifu. I put together this whole thing, but definitely not um, only myself. Is also humongous help from my uh, assistant tournament organizer, Oten, or Chicken. Dude's a legend. Me and him probably put together like, you know, 10 people's worth of work and by ourselves to do this event. And 
really big time crunch on it and stuff, but I was really happy that we were able to put it out so much. And thanks again to uh, Joey, who runs the run.gg. Um, I really wanted to do an open qualifier this time around instead of an invitational like I did for Village. And it would not have been possible without his platform and his direct help. He was in Discord with us all the time, on call the whole time, uh, getting us anything we need, helping us with uh, the open qualifier and all that stuff. And I just want to thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting. $16,000 is absolutely insane. Um, I definitely couldn't do a prize pool like that by myself. I threw in as much as I could. It's about two grand, but you guys just totally blew it out of the water and put it all the way to 16, which is absolutely insane. I also want to thank everyone for participating, all the runners and stuff. I know that it was stressful with the open qualifier and all that stuff, but I feel like it uh, was the best choice to give the best possible showing and give everyone a chance to do it. Because that's why I, I do stuff like this. I, I love having community events like Games Done Quick and and tournaments and all sorts of stuff. It really brings the community back together and it's like just a really great time. And me particularly, I owe most of my content creation career to specifically the Twitch Rivals tournament for RE2 Remake that happened many years ago now as uh, I couldn't afford to buy a PC um, that was good for streaming and uh, I was running that game at the time and I got invited to that tournament and I was able to get third and that prize money helped me buy a PC so I could actually pursue what I was doing and I hope that the money really helps the people that got it that's why we always try to pay out everyone that participates at least in the uh, in the finals in the, in the semifinals um, and that's part of the reason why doing a open qualifier as well it's really really cool i'm so happy with how it went uh, thanks so much for supporting and helping and making it a success because we put a lot of work into it but you never know people could not show up or you know not be as supportive and all that stuff but you guys really really came through and i really appreciate it yeah, thank you guys so much. It's awesome. I really also want to shout out the people that I didn't get to. So thank you, Enigma and Vash, for casting. You guys do an amazing job. Like, the just most insane casting. Better than, like, pro CS casters, honestly. It's it's crazy. Oh, thank and, you. Appreciate and, it. Um, as well as Mute D6 and Larksa, who also did, like, a really amazing job. All, all of the casters did a bunch of their own research and also learned a ton um, just for this event, which I really, really appreciate. Um, and, and thanks as well to all the helpers and the verifiers and all the staff like DTW and JAMA, Poison, Harvey, Salted Crunchy. Um, I, don't, I shouldn't have started naming names because I'm going to miss some now. I'm sorry, but like, you know who you are. I really appreciate you. Th thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you. Spartan, Spexy, um, anyone who is moderating chats, like really this is a fucking ginormous event way bigger than i thought i could ever run myself um and quite honestly i we don't really run it ourselves we just put a lot of faith in people and they're pulling through and we really really appreciate you for doing that 